Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters, welcome again to this particular reminder Muslim do, where they do make difference in big winners like you's life. And uh, the reminder benefit the believer. So when you listen to any speaker and you walk with benefit, benefit observed by your heart, it doesn't mean there is a good speaker. It means your heart is good to observe the teaching of Allah and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, respected uh, audience, today's quick reminder to do again, continuous uh, reminder with kindness to parents, where you see this humongous, this humongous world created for one purpose. And that humongous purpose linked shoulder to shoulder with kindness to parents, which is worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything in this universe, the purpose of the creation is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not to associate anyone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you would find the shaitan tricking you in many ways and means. If he makes someone to drink or if he makes someone to steal, this is not the purpose of the shaitan. The purpose of the shaitan to make someone ultimately associate someone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is called shirk, where associating someone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a sin Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive. So therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, the greatest purpose of the creation and the reason that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَقَضَ رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُ إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا You Lord decreed that you worship none, but Allah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and kindness with parents. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not say, then kindness with parents. So therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, let us realize that this humongous purpose, that means after Allah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, kindness to your mom and dad. Just today I got a call from a wonderful doctor, brother of mine, that his dad, rahimahullah, just passed away hours ago. Uh, rahimahullah, uh, brother Muhammad Ghayyath Al-Kayyali, rahimahullah, may Allah unite us with him and his loved ones in paradise. And the son is racing to do good deeds on behalf of his dad. I said, subhanallah, this is the kindness. Kindness does not expire. Kindness to mom and dad does not expire when they die. Actually, it activated, uh, rejuvenated, and uh, motivated much more when they die. This is the true sincerity and the true birr al walidain kindness to parents. He wants to do this for, on behalf of his dad. He wants to do that on behalf of his dad. And money is no matter to spend on behalf of his dad, whether distributing the whole Quran, whether this, whether that, whether feeding the needy. I said, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. This is the right upbringing that you raised your children and you helped them to be kind to you in this life and kind to you even if you are in a garden from heaven. Suppose your grave is a garden from heaven. You still need the kindness of your children. Why? Because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, my dear respected brothers and sisters, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the chief engineer of happiness and the champion of success, we make dua for him. Rasulullah the best of Allah's creation, we make daily prayers for him and dua for him. What about your good mom and dad? So therefore, I was going to talk about a different topic, but uh, I got uh, touched by the death of this wonderful dad and the wonderful children who want to do things good on behalf of their dad. They want to show their love in a blessed way. I said, subhanAllah, this talk today got to be about kindness to parents. So therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, when the dad or the mom travel everlasting uh, trip, I mean a trip that uh, only meeting, inshallah, in the Jannah, you start thinking and you become an artist. How can I please Allah by being more kind to my mom and dad? How can I make my children 
copy me. They see me. I am kind to my ma mom and dad. I am feeding the hungry. I am sponsoring orphans. I'm distributing Quran on their behalf. I am sending someone to make Hajj on their behalf. I am making dua for them. My children sees me making dua to their grandparents, to my mom and dad. So that means you are authentic, genuinely from Rasulullah certificate that you are walad on Saleh. You are a good son. And that means you are a good daughter just by making dua. This is a confirmation and affirmation and from Rasulullah And when your children sees that you are kind to your mom and dad, that you are generous when it comes to mom and dad, whether they are with you or in their qabristan, the grave, the garden from heaven, you will upbring children who are big winners. So therefore, we don't just expect from our children to be kind to us if we don't help them and recharge their kindness tank, recharge their kindness or refill their, their uh, kindness tank and recharge their kindness battery. And this way, we realize that this is actually ultimately good for their life. Being kind to mom and dad is not just good for mom and dad in their grave or in their life. It is good for your life because one of the greatest harsh treatment and harsh um, life you will ever live when you are harsh to mom and dad, you will have a choking life. Doesn't matter what's your situation. Doesn't matter what's your degree. You will have a choking life when mom's heart is not happy with you. When dad's heart is not happy with you, it is dispatched, called to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They don't have to raise their hand and complain about you. And one of the greatest disaster, tragedy, devastation, when mom or dad raise their hand and complain to Allah about their children. You could raise your hand, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide them no matter how hard or harsh they are, but never raise your hand, never ever raise your hand and complain and make dua, supplication against them. You'll devastate their dunya and akhirah. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees in your heart, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees in your heart that you are not happy with your children, but you still raise your hand and make dua for them, rest assured this is one of the dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept. And this forgiveness from your side, even though that your heart is not happy with them, will make your dua accepted and will deliver, Allah will deliver his kindness and forgiveness and much more to your children. So therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, let us just realize that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Holy Quran, that means your Lord decreed that you worship none but Allah and kindness with parents, you see here how humongous kindness to parents how blessed you are when you are kind to your mom and dad and you tell me brother you're talking to me you think i'm a teenager you think i'm a child no no you could have all gray hair and you still need to be kind to mom and dad why you are the one who will get the dividends you are the one who will benefit and your children and your wife you will taste the delicious taste in this life in the hereafter in the grave by being kind to mom and dad. Respected brothers and sisters, often we go to a sheikh and imam Mawlana and say, please make dua for me, please make dua. We don't realize that we have a headquarter of an answer dua, an answer supplication and prayers at your home, your mom, your dad, your mom who's just spending 20 minutes on the prayers mat, right? You just beg her for a dua. Please her heart, please her heart. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching. So respected brothers and sisters, wonder no longer why you are miserable. Le miserable. Why? Because you're shortchanging mom and dad. Because you are so mean and hard 
and rough to mom and dad. Never, never come to that red lines. Never, never come to that minds, minds that could explode and destroy your life. May Allah forbid. So you take them with ultimate kindness, with patience. Sometimes we think that patience is difficult. Asabr, but tasabr. Actually, you could, you could develop the muscles of your body by going to the gym a few times and doing many repetition. You could develop the muscles of your patience with tasabr means one time you are patient, another time you are patient. And it, this repetition will make you patient. And it is not sweet. Patience is not sweet. It's so bitter. Murra, sabr, murr. Patience, it is bitter, bitter taste. But the outcome of it is so delicious, so beautiful. Sometimes we don't need just kindness. We need kindness crowned with patience with parents. Kindness, yes, crowned with patience. You need, my sister, with your husband, mom, husband's mom or dad's mom, right? You need not just to respect them, you need to love them. By default, you must respect them. But by Allah, have that, that element of mercy, element of rahmah. Don't just deal a matter of respect. No, deal with a matter of mercy, with a matter of rahmah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be merciful upon you with your wife, I mean with your husband. Your children will be merciful upon you. Your neighbors, your co-worker, your friends, your relative, they will be merciful upon you. Wonderful brothers and sisters, truly, 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 unshakable, unshakable mountains, mountains, three unshakable mountains. First, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Second, kindness to mom and dad. Third, charity giving charity. So today's reminder and the reminder benefit the believers to be kind to mom and dad. Be kind to those big winners who raised you, who raised you to become, to become one of the best and to become better than them. When you ask your dad, would you like your own brother from your own mom and dad to be better than you? Perhaps we'll say no, but I like you, my son. And I like you, my daughter, to be better than me and to be the best of the best. And that one minute left, my dear brothers and sisters, or two minutes left, realize that I will have a good life. Hayatan tayyib. Allah promised me in the Holy Quran a good life when I'm kind with my mom and dad. This is a promise from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you do good deeds and the best people to apply the good deeds to mom and dad. When you are kind to mom and dad, you have a promise from Allah. And Allah will always, will always deliver the promise, will never be short of delivering the promise. Being good and kind to mom and dad, you are guaranteed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a good life. May Allah keep loving you. Stay blessed. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.